Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Sultanate of Oman, Sayyid Badr bin Hamoud bin, uh, bin Hamoud al Busaidi, arrived in Bahrain to head the Sultanate's delegation at the meeting of the seventh session of the Bahraini Oman Joint Committee, which will be held tomorrow, Sunday. Upon his arrival at Bahrain International Airport, the Omani minister was welcomed by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, Bahrain's ambassador in Muscat, Dr. Jama bin Ahmed Al Kabi, Oman's ambassador to Bahrain, the Dean of the Diplomatic Corps in the Kingdom. Abdullah bin Rashid Al Mdelwi and other officials. The first educational garden in the capital governorate will open in Tobli work on the pioneering project which cost over a Bahraini dinars 106,000 is now complete covering 1,930 square meters. The director general of the capital municipality Mohammed Saad Al Sahli said the park aims at educating the younger generation on the importance of overstation and maintaining environmental balance. It will introduce modern concepts in hygiene, recycling and sorting to preserve the nation's gains and environment. Asseli said that the garden has for children several educational games, a model of the solar system, a globe, a concrete models showing solar time scale and a shadow clock. He also said that the garden has an area for children to learn English letters, a scale model of the snake and ladder game and a chalkboard wall. The park also has a football field, a basketball court, green space, walkways, public facilities and kiosks for selling consumer supplies. The Ministry of Education announced that more than 67,000 students have registered for the in-person learning system for the new academic year, representing 46% of students in government schools. The Ministry noted that the registration will continue until August 29th, after which all students who do not wish to opt for an in-person learning will be transferred to the remote learning system. Chief Executive Officer of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority, Jamal Al Alawi, has affirmed LMRA's readiness to implement the second phase of the wage protection system by early September. He pointed out that as many as 256,200 workers benefit from the first two phases of the system. LMRA Chief Executive Officer underlined LMRA's keenness to translate the government's directives to ensure that the labour market enjoys a high degree of fairness and flexibility into the ground, noting that the wage protection system is among the projects that contribute to achieving the government's principles as it ensures constant follow-up on employers' commitment to paying wages as agreed and on time. He indicated that the first stage has covered 85 employees and about 93,000 workers, adding that LMRA's team is constantly contacting companies and institutions to remove any obstacles facing the payment of wages, especially during the grace period granted by the system at each stage. Said that the second phase of the system covers employers with 50 to 499 employees or 1,328 employers and 163,000 workers, noting that the commitment rate is already at 46 percent even before the official beginning of the second stage on September the 1st. He highlighted LMRA's keenness to facilitate all procedures required for joining the system, allowing employers to open bank accounts for their employers at a CPB licensed bank without visiting LMRA. He added that the wage protection system is characterized by its electronic linkage involving CPB, LMRA and the relevant financial and banking institutions, praising the cooperation of the CPB and the BCCI and the high level of readiness of the Kingdom's banking system to deal with this huge number of new bank accounts. Under the Labour Minister's Edict 22 of 2021, every employer shall commit to paying the wages of their employees via any payment methods provided by those licensed by the Central Bank of Bahrain according to the following stages. Stage 1 on May the 1st of 2021 includes employers with 500 employees or more. Stage 2 from September the 1st of 2021 includes employers with 50 to 499 employees. Stage 3 from January the 1st of 2022 includes employers with 1 to 49 employees. The system grants employers a grace period of six months at each stage in order to address any potential obstacles facing them in joining the system. Employers may join the system and pay their employees through it even before the beginning of their prescribed stage.
The General Secretariat of the Representatives Council concluded a training program entitled Parliamentary Culture for Youth, which was held remotely with the participation of about 300 young men and women. During the program, the participants were briefed on a number of topics related to legislative and parliamentary work. The program aimed to enhance national belonging, introduce the working mechanisms of the Representatives Council and the General Secretariat, in addition to consolidating and understanding the duties of national responsibilities and public providing participants with public debate skills and awareness of the concepts and principles of the Constitution and the culture of citizenship. In line with medical research, the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus highlighted the importance of taking a booster dose within a maximum of six months after receiving the second dose of the Pfizer, BioNTech or AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccines. Data from a study showed a decrease in the effectiveness of the Pfizer, BioNTech vaccine in the month following the second dose from 88% to 74%, while the effectiveness of the AstraZeneca vaccine decreased from 77 to 67% after four to five months after taking the second dose. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,140,968 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,083,108 had taken the second, and 249,392 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 994 with 104 recoveries, 106 registered new cases and no deaths. 29 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 54 are contacts of active cases and 23 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.